Hi everyone, it's Alia or Cake Legend and happy Valentine's Day! Today we're going to be making these really adorable heart candy sugar cookies. I don't have a video up for my sugar cookie recipe yet, but it's probably going to be the next upload. The recipe I use is just like a standard sugar cookie recipe, except these cookies are actually a little bit softer. I don't know if any of you eat sugar cookies a lot, but typically they're kind of hard. Not in an unpleasant way, but they're just not super soft cookies. This recipe actually makes softer cookies, which I enjoy. But since this is just a decorating tutorial, make whatever sugar cookie dough you'd like. Roll it out to however thick or thin your recipe calls for, and then cut out all your heart cookies. I chose a fairly small sized cookie cutter, that way I could make more cookies and have more colors and just a bit more variety. Also I think this is my first sugar cookie decorating tutorial. There's definitely going to be more to come because I do really enjoy making sugar cookies, I just hardly ever do it. But I want to practice it some more, it's been quite some time. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like a cookie decorating tutorial for beginners where I go over the basics and give all the tips and tricks that I know. Here are my cookies before and after baking. Your baking time basically depends on how big your cookies are. I'll leave some information on baking my recipe when I post my recipe video. When that's finally uploaded, you'll be able to find it in the top right hand corner. But now let's move on to the decorating. First we need to make some royal icing and I'm here to tell you guys that I actually don't really have a specific recipe for royal icing. This is how I make mine. I start with some pasteurized egg white and I put some in a bowl. Then I add some vanilla extract. There aren't really any measurements because the amount that I make just depends on how many cookies I'm making. <laughs> so we have some pasteurized egg white bit of vanilla for flavor, then we add a little bit of cream of tartar as well, which is going to help balance out the sweetness and get rid of some of the grit from the icing sugar when we cream it. Next of course we're going to add icing sugar. There are no measurements because the amount of icing sugar that goes in depends on how much egg white you poured. As you can see, I added a little too much sugar so I just added a bit more egg white to get it runny because the other thing it depends on is the consistency you're looking for. Depends on if you're using this for flooding cookies or making royal icing transfers or doing writing. As you can see mine looked pretty runny there so instead of adding more icing sugar I started creaming it. Just mixing it on a high speed for a couple minutes until it turned to this more bright white color and it wasn't so runny anymore. This is what you want. At this stage, if you need it to be a little bit runnier, add a little bit of water. Don't add any more egg white. Once my royal icing is made, I adjust the consistency by either adding some water or some more icing sugar. But once you have it to the right consistency, throw it into a piping bag, I'm using a tipless bag, and cover your bowl of icing with a damp paper towel to keep it from getting all crusty. Now it's time to decorate our heart cookies. Again, I'm not going over basics because for a lot of my tutorials, I go into it with the sense that basics are already established and we can just focus on how to make this fun design. But like I said, I can make a video on the basics if you guys would like. I start with an outline and then I flood my cookie. As you can see, my outline was really bad, <laughs> but don't worry, I fixed that one side. Sometimes it's a big struggle when you are filming because you can't 
exactly see what you're doing because the camera angle is a little more important than being able to see your work, right? But I also don't want my hand to get in the way of the shot and just completely block everything. I started with using just the white royal icing and then I started doing the fun colors. I feel like the classic colors for those heart-shaped candies are yellow, pink, green, and purple. So I did all of those colors and you will see them all here. Flooded all of my cookies using a toothpick to smooth out any imperfections, get rid of any air bubbles. I don't have one of those little tools. I forget what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. The metal ones that have like the fun charms hanging off of them. I learned how to make sugar cookies, I don't know, maybe seven years ago now. And I still don't have one of those. Still using toothpicks. I know the flooding process is also very tedious and takes a lot of time, and that's why most people don't like making sugar cookies, but I really enjoy this process. I don't know, I think it's so satisfying. It definitely does take a lot of time, but I don't know, it's just fun. Unless, of course, you're making like 12 dozen cookies. <laughs> Here we have all of our cookies flooded and set. They look so pretty and I love it. So now I'm dyeing some more of that royal icing red so that we can do the writing. Before you do the writing, make sure that your cookies are all set. I used Wilton's number one tip, which is a really tiny round tip for this writing. The smaller the tip, the better because you have more control. And then I got to writing those little messages that you will find on these heart cookies. As I was doing this, I was just thinking, wow, it's been a minute since I've written anything with royal icing because these look horrible. <laughs> I might be over exaggerating that a little bit, but um, definitely didn't think this was my best work. But you know what? The messy vibe kind of matches the style of these heart candies anyway. When I was done the writing, these cookies were all finished. Here are some pictures because I forgot to take some final beauty shots. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and you're having a happy Valentine's Day. Be sure to subscribe and like this video if you haven't already and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!